grade. Today we're going to be doing module four, lesson 30. So we're almost done with module four. And for this lesson, we're going to continue talking about dividing numbers by like whole numbers by fractions, except we're going to be doing it a little bit differently today because we're going to be encountering decimals that are now like 0 0.2, 0 0.4, things like that. So it might not be as easy as before, but I think you guys will still do fantastic at this lesson. So one second. And one all right, so for the first problem, we're just going to take a look at a basic problem that we already know how to do. So, for example, if I have 2 divided by 0 0.1, I know that I can just think of this as 2 times 10. Because in the previous lesson, we talked about how I can basically think of this as 2 divided by a tenth. And then I just flip that into a multiplication problem like so. And I know that if I had 2 times 10, my final answer would come out as 20. So what is 2 divided by 1 tenth? Well, that is 20 or 20 tenths. However, it's not going to be as easy now because we're going to have slightly different fraction or decimals that we're going to be multiplying by. So instead of just thinking about these powers of 10, but just doing 2 times 10, I now have to think about, well, if I'm multiplying or dividing by 0 0.2, how is that going to change my problem? So I'm going to show you with our basic problem right here, and then we're going to practice with the other ones. So for example, for this one, what I'm going to do is instead of doing the work like we did from the last chapter, we're now going to be writing this 2 divided by 0 0.1 as a fraction all together into 1. So that means that this 2 is going to be in my numerator. And then this 0 0.1, even though it seems a bit weird, is going to be in my denominator like so. So instead of having it written as an expression, I now have it written as a fraction. And remember, this is okay. You can do just like this, because just like that one lesson we did um, a few weeks ago where we said like nine divided by six can also be written as a fraction like nine over six, or nine over six can also be written as an expression like nine divided by six. So this is okay for us to do, even if it seems a little weird. Now, if you have 2 divided by 0 0.1, you might still be confused about what to do. And that is going to change. So what we're going to do is I'm now going to put a multiplication symbol here. Because I'm already saying I'm dividing by saying I have 2 divided by 0 0.1. What I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply to get my answer, or to get part of my answer. So what I mean by that is I'm going to take a look at this um, fraction or this decimal right here. And I see that it's 0 0.1 is 1 tenth. So since this part that I am dividing by is in the tenths, then that tells me that I'm going to multiply this fraction by 10. And yes, well, you probably know how to solve this really easy in your heads. Eventually, this is going to become really helpful for later problems. So we have 2 divided by 0 0.1 times 10 over 10. And now you should know how to multiply two fractions because you're just going straight across. So right now I'm going to do 2 times 10, which is 20, all over 0 0.1 times 10. And with this, you should remember that I'm basically just moving my decimal over. So if I'm doing 0 0.1 times 10, my decimal is moving over one time, and it's just going to move to the right. So then that is going to become one. Now, my new fraction right now is 20 over 1, so 20 divided by 1. And I know that 20 divided by 1 is just the same thing as 20. Again, this might seem kind of silly to do all this work, but when we have decimals that are numbers other than 1, it's going to be a lot um, more helpful. So that is just your basic problem, but let's take a look at a problem with some different decimals. So, for example, we're going to do 2 divided by 0 0.2. So with this one, I can't just move my decimals wherever I want right now. I have to do some different type of work. So we're going to have to do that fraction um, from before. So I'm going to make this division expression into a fraction. So if I have 2 divided by 2 tenths, 
I'm going to put that whole number two as my numerator. And then I'm going to take that two tenths and I'm going to put that as the, on the bottom. So I'm going to write it just like it is in my expression, 0 0.2. So you should have 2 over 0 0.2. And remember, you're going to put that multiplication symbol right here. And now I need another fraction. So don't forget, you always want another fraction over here. Except for this time, we are going to take a look at the 0 0.2 and figure out what place value is that 2 in. Well, I know that 2 is in the tenths place. So since it's in the tenths place, I'm going to multiply this fraction by 10. And remember, whatever you do to the top, you have to do to the bottom. So I'm going to do 10 over 10, and now I just need to multiply. So first, we're going to start off with a numerator. So I'm going to do 2 times 10, which gives me 20. So I'll write 20 as my numerator. And then I'm going to have 2 tenths times 10. Again, we should know that if I have just one zero, I'm just moving my decimal one place. And if I'm multiplying, I'm making my number bigger, so I'm moving my decimal to the right. So I'm going to move it to the right, which gives me an answer of 2. So 2 tenths times 10 is 2. So for this part right here, you can use the information from last lesson to kind of help you out. But now I have 20 over 2. Now, you may think you're done, but with this problem, I now want to think of this as a division problem. So just like how I created this division expression into a fraction, I'm now going to think of this fraction as a division problem. So I'm going to say to myself, this is 20 divided by, because this line means divided by, divided by 2. And we should know how to do 20 divided by 2, because that is just 10. And that right there would be my final answer for this problem. So just to recap, you put your expression into a fraction. You multiply by the place value of the number that you're dividing by. You multiply everything else. And then think of this as a division problem and get your answer. And then our final answer is 10. Let's move on to the next problem. If you think you're ready, go ahead and try this next one on your own. So for this problem, we're going to do... 2 and 4 tenths divided by 2 tenths. So this one's a little bit different. So for this one, again, I'm going to rewrite this division expression as a fraction. So we always want to do our fractions first. So rewrite as a fraction. So we have 2.4. And just like the second number, we're going to keep this number as a fraction still over 0 0.2. And then I now have, um, remember these two things equal basically the same thing, 2.4 divided by 0 0.2 and 2.4 divided by 0 0.2. I'm gonna put that multiplication symbol there and now I need to multiply this by some sort of power of 10. I don't know what power of 10 yet um, that I have to multiply it by, so I'm gonna take a look at this number that I'm dividing it by. And I'm going to take a look at the place value of this number. So this 2 is in what place value? It is in the tenths place. So that means that since this 2 is in the tenths place, I need to multiply both of these by 10. And now this is where just knowing how to move your decimals is really going to come in handy because all I need to do is do 2.4 or 2 and 4 tenths times 10. So that means I move over my decimal once to the right, and I'm going to get 24 all over 2 tenths times 10. Again, I move my decimal right, 1 to the right, and that's going to give me 2. And now I have a fraction, 24 over 2, except I want to think of this as a um, division problem. So I want to think of this as 24 divided by 2, and we should know that 24 divided by 2 is... 12. And that would be my final answer. So remember, we want to first write a division expression as a fraction. Then we want to multiply by, um, you're most likely going to be doing either 10 over 10 or um, 100 over 100, depends on that place value. And then you will do your division problem. So make your fraction into division. Fraction into 
Division Dragon. And then you will have your answer. So really it's just three steps that you need to do to solve these problems. Let's try our next problem. And this one is going to show you how even though I'm going to start with the same number, this two and four tenths, I'm going to be dividing it by four tenths now. So we're going to get a slightly different answer, but you'll see how starting with the same number doesn't always mean that I'm going to get the same answer because I can divide it by different things. So again, I'm going to rewrite this as a fraction. So I'm going to have two and four tenths all over four tenths. And then I need to multiply by either 10 over 10 or 100 over 100. So I'm going to take a look at this place value right here. And I see that I have a 4 in the tenths place. So that means I'm going to be multiplying it by 10 over 10, like I said over here. And then after that, I just need to multiply. So I'm going to do 2 and 4 tenths times 10. So I'm moving my decimal one place to the right. And that is going to give me 24. And then I'm going to have 4 tenths times 10. Again, I move my decimal one place to the right. And that gives me 4. Now I have my fraction, but I want to think about it as a division problem. So I have 24 divided by 4. And 24 divided by 4 is 6. And that is just my final answer for this problem. So pretty easy um, process for you guys to do. So you have all these skills that you've learned so far, just kind of putting everything together. The next set of problems, you only have three more problems left, but these next set, I would like you to guys to try these on your own and then come back and take a look at the video to see if you got them right or not. So for this first problem, we're gonna do one and six tenths divided by 0.04. Four, so pay attention that that four is in the hundredth spot and think about what you're going to be multiplying it by. So pause the video, try this problem, and then replay it when you're ready to uh, continue. So for this problem, as usual, I need to rewrite this as a fraction. So I have 1.6 divided by 0 0.04. And now I'm going to multiply it, except this time when I'm multiplying, I'm not going to multiply it by 10 over 10. I'm going to be multiplying it by 100 over 100 because I am multiplying it by, or I'm dividing it by a number that goes into the hundredths place. So if I, I'm going to multiply it by 100 over 100. Then I need to just do the multiplication like before. So if I have 1 and 6 tenths times 100, that means that my decimal place is moving over two times now because there are two zeros. And it's moving to the right still because I am multiplying. So I'm going to go over 1 and then 2. And that's going to give me 160 all over. And then again, I have to multiply this. So I have 4 hundredths times 100. So again, my decimal place moves over two times. So I have one, two, and that leaves me with just four. Now you might get a little bit nervous because you're going to be left with this fraction 160 divided by four, but you should know how to solve this because I bet if I wrote this problem back as an expression, you would know what to do with it. Because remember this fraction right here and this expression right here are the exact same things. So I can think of this as 16 divided by 4, which is just 4, and then bring down that 0, which gives me a final answer of 40. And that would be the answer to this problem right here. If you got this one right, awesome. If you need any help, please make sure you let me know. I'm going to move on to the next problem, and then that, I would like you to try that one. So for this problem, we're going to have a kind of a similar problem here. We're going to have 1 and 68 hundredths divided by 4 hundredths. So again, I'm going to rewrite that as a fraction. So I have 1 and 68 hundredths all over 4 hundredths. And then I'm going to have to figure out what I'm multiplying this by. Since this 4 is in the hundredths place, then I'm going to multiply this by 100 over 100. And all these problems, you're either going to be multiplying by 10 over 10 or 100 over 100. So there's not really too much wiggle room for you to make any mistakes. 
Then after that, I'm going to multiply to get my answer. So that's going to give me 1 and 68 hundredths times 100. This um, decimal needs to move over two times. So I go over 1, 2. And that gives me 168 all over. Then 4, four hundredths times 100. Again, this moves over 1, 2 times. So that is 4. And again, you might freak out looking at this fraction and saying, I don't know how to do that. But if I were to rewrite this as a expression, you might not, you might know what to do from here. Because I can think of this as 16 divided by 4, which gives me 4. And I can think of this again as 8 divided by 4, which gives me Two. So my answer is just 42. So it's a similar problem from before we solved that 1.6, but this 8 makes a difference in our final answer. But if you ever get to a fraction that seems really difficult, you don't need to set up a standard algorithm to figure out what 168 divided by 4 is. You should be able to do most of these in your head by just breaking it up a little bit. So my final answer for this one is 42. All right, for our very last one, I would again like you to try that one on your own, and then we will be done. So, I'm going to be doing 1 and 68 hundredths divided by 12 hundredths. So, I'm going to write this as a fraction. So, I have 1 and 68 hundredths all over. 12 hundredths, and then I'm going to multiply it by, this last place value is in the hundredths place, so I'm going to multiply it by 100, and then I'm going to figure out what this answer is. So I'm going to move this over once, twice, and that gives me 168 all over, I move it over again once, and then twice, and that gives me 12. And now I have 168 over 12. Now for this one, if I were to rewrite this as an expression, I would have 168 divided by 12. Now when you write it out as an expression, and you see that, well, I can't really do 16 divided by 12, or 8 divided by 12, you probably will have to set up a standard algorithm for this one. So most of them are going to be very simple where you can just set them up as a expression and you can easily solve from there. But some of them are going to be a little bit trickier and you just have to do a standard algorithm for that. So we're going to have 168 divided by 12. So I have to figure out how many times does 12 go into 16. Well, that is just one time. And I make sure that I put that one up above that 6. 12 times 1 is 12, and then I'll do 16 minus 12, which is 4. Bring down the 8, and then how many times is 12 going to 48? That would be 4 times. And then 12 times 4 would give me 48. I go ahead and subtract, and I get my final answer of 14. So. 1 and 68 hundredths divided by 12 hundredths gives me 14 hundredths. And that is all we have to do for this problem. Remember, if you have any questions, please make sure you ask for help. And what we're going to do today is we're going to have the problem set. And your problem set is going to be number 1, B through F which is just problems like this. You can do it any way that you need to. And then word problem 3, parts A and B. After that, for your homework, you'll be doing one B through F, and then number three A through B as well. If you can fit, just like yesterday, if you can finish your problem sets, and then um, you feel confident in it, you got all the correct answers, you can try the exit tickets, and then if you still need more help, then you can move on to the homework. So let me know if you need help, and good luck.